Hey, what's up guys? Keaton here with Keaton's Power Fitness. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you guys how to build muscle in a caloric deficit. Now, this is something that we all wanna know how to do because it's it seems really hard to do, if not impossible. Because when you're in a caloric deficit, you're burning fat, you're using your body's fat for fuel. So you're restricting calories you're tired it's hard to come into the gym with the energy and the motivation to lift hard when you're in a deficit but in this video i'm going to help you guys so that you can learn how to build muscle in a caloric deficit now i'm not claiming that you're going to gain like 20 pounds of muscle in a caloric deficit uh, for that you would have to use performance enhancer, performance enhancers, but in this video, I'm not talking about performance enhancers. I'm talking about how to do this naturally with no performance enhancers. So, number one, the most important thing that you need to do to build muscle while you're in a caloric deficit is you have to get stronger. You gotta put up more weight or you have to do more reps. So. If you guys have seen Greg Desset, he talks about train harder than last time. That's really what it boils down to. You just have to go harder than you did last week or you know, two or three days ago. Whatever your last workout was, you need to go harder. You need to go heavier. You need to do more sets, do more reps. I don't care if it's one more rep than it was last time or if it's five more pounds than it was last time, as long as you are going harder, doing more than you did last time, you're gonna to continue to build muscle. If you hit a point where you can't gain strength, you can't gain any more reps, that means you're at a plateau, you're not building more muscle. So that's a perfect time to change up your routine or change up your diet a little bit. So. That leads me to number two, which is carb cycling. Um, this is really important because if you're in a deficit for a long time, you're not gonna have enough glycogen in your body, in your muscles to push heavy weight and to push out more reps sometimes. So with carb cycling, you're gonna have some refeed days where you're gonna fill your muscles with glycogen after you've completely depleted them for the past few days or the past few weeks. And now your glycogen stores will be full. You can come into the gym. You can push heavier weight. Yes, you will have that one day where you're not in as much of a caloric deficit, but that's necessary for your building muscle. You have to take some days off from the deficit so that you can refill your glycogen stores, come back into the gym stronger, with more energy. So those are the two most important things is train harder, lift heavier, or do more reps. And then also carb cycling. You have to refeed your muscles. You have to get the glycogen back in there or else you're basically gonna be pushing weight and lifting with no glycogen. Your muscles are just exhausted. It's pretty much like uh, trying to start your car with no gas or trying to drive a car with low oil. It just doesn't have the power. It just doesn't run properly. And if there's no gas, it's not even gonna start. So you have to refill your muscles, get a little bit of gas in the tank before you jump back down into a caloric deficit. So carb cycling, there's no certain way to do it. I just, I go off by how I feel. That's the best way that I can tell you how to do it, is go off how you feel. If you're in a deficit for five days and then on that sixth day, you just, you have no motivation, no energy to go into the gym. Take that day to refeed, you know, refeed your glycogen stores, take in carbs, rest, let your body recover. And then when you feel good again, it might be the next day, it might be two days later. When you feel good, when you feel motivated, the energy, come back into the gym lift heavy, lift hard, and then go back into your caloric deficit 
and then continue on that path to shredding fat and getting in better shape. So that's pretty much it guys. Those are what you really need to focus on if you're trying to build muscle uh, while you're in a caloric, while you're in a caloric deficit. So it's not impossible, but it is very hard. You're not gonna build five pounds or 10 pounds a month. Um, honestly, you should aim for one pound a month, if even that, like even half a pound of muscle in one month is really good for someone who's natural, who's not on performance enhancers. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button for more videos and more content. I post a lot of helpful content uh, for you guys. Also, I have my personal training websites live now. I will drop a link in the description to those websites. So if you're looking for a personal trainer or for some online coaching, you can check out my sites. You can look at my different programs. Also, if you join my member club on the Wix app, it's free to become a member and you'll get access to my blog posts. Um, you can even message me and ask me some questions. So I'll drop a link in, those in my description for those. So if you guys are looking to get in better shape, you can start today. So that's it for this guys. Thanks for watching. <clears throat> we will catch you in the next video. Peace.